Hey guys, it's Eric, co-founder of Empirical360, and I'm back in our Adner series. Do users fill out information on forms on your website? Do you want to count those form submissions as conversions in your Google Ads account? Well, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So now we're going to dive into exactly how we track form submissions in your Google Ads account. Here's an outline of exactly what we're going to talk about. What is form submission tracking? How should I do it? And how do I implement it? Which would be a live tutorial walkthrough. So a form submission is anytime someone fills out a form on your website, whether it be for a free quote, free estimate, new appointment, um, anything that you want to count as a conversion and you want to pump that back in your Google Ads account. How should I do it? There are two main ways to track form submissions on your website. One is through a thank you page redirect, which is the preferred way because it, um, it removes the errors of duplicate submissions. The second way, which is firing an event on your website. An event can be tricky because you have to make sure you don't count duplicates for button clicks or form submissions. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do both of those live in our walkthrough tutorial. How do I implement it? So these are the steps we're gonna go through in our live walkthrough tutorial. What we're gonna do is we're gonna enable a thank you page or a success event. We're gonna create a goal inside of Google Analytics. We're gonna update the destination or the event inside of that goal. We're gonna link your Google Analytics account to your Google Ads account. And then we're gonna import conversions from Google Analytics into your Google Ads account. So I'm gonna jump over to my screen right now for the live tutorial. So here's a form on our website right now that I'm gonna fill out. And this will be um, the form submission. And this particular form right here is wired for a thank you page redirect. So as soon as I submit this form, it's gonna pop over to a thank you page, and that is the event of which we're gonna grab a handle onto to track our submission. I'm also gonna show you though how to implement the, the event tracking. So once I submit this form, notice that the page navigates to our thank you page. So the thank you page URL is what we wanna focus on here. So I wanna grab that URL, and I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard because we're gonna use it in just a moment. So here's Google Analytics. This is where we start our conversion tracking. So I go over to the admin side of Google Analytics, and you have to make sure that you have full administrative access to create goals inside of a view. So I go over to the goals tab in the view, and now I'm gonna start a new goal. Um, I always like to choose a custom template, and then from there you name your goal. So I'm gonna put form submission. Um, for the thank you page redirect, we're gonna choose destination. Um, for the event, you're gonna choose event, but I'll go over that in just a minute. So for the destination, I'm gonna click continue. And now this is also another tricky part of analytics. Um, depending on how you have your analytics um, wired, you don't necessarily wanna choose equals to, because if you have multiple thank you pages that have a variation of the URL, or if you're tracking parameters on accident inside of your page views, this can get messed up. So I like to choose begins with, and keep it simple. So if I have thank you page two, three, four, it'll catch all of them inside of this one goal. Um, if your analytics account did have data, you can verify this goal, but since this is a brand new account, we're gonna skip that option. And once I click save, this will now work for thank you page form submissions. So before we link this to your Google Ads account, we're gonna go ahead and uh, reverse this and do it as if we were working on a event. So I'm gonna go back to my form. Um, Every single HTML form should have an ID. If you don't, make sure you put it in there because that's how we're gonna grab the event of the successful form submission. So we like to use Tag Manager to send events to Google Ads, uh, Google Ad Analytics, and I'm gonna show you how we do that right now. If you don't have a Tag Manager account, it's very easy to create and implement on your website. Um, once you get into your Tag Manager account, you're gonna go ahead and create a new tag. Once you do that, you select Google Analytics from your tag options. Um, rather than a page view, you're going to go ahead and send an event. Um, and for this one, I'm going to put form submission as the category. You only really have to fill out the category. You can fill out extra data points if you want, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to do form submission. And um, you put your trigger. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new trigger. And this is going to be for the form submission. So you go to your options over here on the right, and there's going to be a form submission option. Um, you can choose some forms, and then I'm gonna choose for the form ID equals my form. And that, of course, is gonna be custom to every single form that you have. Or you can do all forms, but I like to do it specific just so my tracking is uh, very accurate. 
So you can name it as form submission, or if you want to give it a specific name, you can put that there. And once this is done, you just click save. So now, as soon as I fill out this form, just as before, it's gonna fire an event in Google Analytics. So now to link that to a goal, we're gonna go ahead and create a new goal. We're gonna choose custom, just like last time. And I'm gonna name this one form submission event. So then rather than destination, as we chose last time, we're gonna do event. We're gonna put the category that we put inside of our event that we passed from Tag Manager, so form submission. Like I said, if you have past data on your website, you can verify the goal. If not, you just click save and your goal is created. So once you have that done, you'll have your two form submission goals. Um, you know, Depending on whether you use a redirect or an event, you'll only have actually one here. But uh, now we're gonna go ahead and link it to your Google Ads account. So I'm gonna go over here. You're gonna go to your property settings in Google, Ad, in Google Analytics. You're gonna choose Google Ads and you're gonna link it to the corresponding AdWords Google Ads account. So I'm gonna go ahead and look and we created a, um, we created a, just a tutorial account over here. Let me just look for it in the list right here. So now you go to continue and on your link configuration, you can name it differently if you really want to, but we like to keep it the same as a Google Ads account. You wanna make sure all your website data is on. So you wanna make sure the view passes all the data. That's how the conversions will show inside of your Google Ads account. So once I click link accounts over here, the link will be created and we'll hop over to your Google Ads account. From here, you're gonna to go to create a new conversion. Once you create the new conversion, you're gonna choose import and you're gonna choose Google Analytics. From here, it will grab the events, choose the one you wanna link. I'll put both over just for the purpose of this demo and you just click import and continue. And then from now on, every time a form is submitted on your website, there'll be a notification inside your Google Ads account. So now whenever someone fills out a form on your website from a Google ad, that will be counted as a conversion inside of your Google ad account.